<coughs> so today uh, we'll talk. Uh, I will make some. Uh, I should make uh, about four videos today. Uh, four separate videos. So uh, uh, we'll start with uh, a state VS change. Uh, that's something I uh, talked about in, in previous lessons. I, uh, but uh, I didn't really. Uh, took uh, a good amount of, uh, of time uh, on it so I wanted to uh, to just uh, make something st something clear about uh, uh, about that uh, the other way I, uh, I talk about uh, the difference between state and, uh, and, uh, and change is a trigger and a continuous event uh, that's the same thing. Uh, it's just that uh, today I was uh, rethinking a bit, and I thought that a state vs change was more uh, was another way to uh, to talk about it, and uh, kind of uh, slightly better. Uh, so um, to model the difference between uh, state, uh, it's really it's not really a complex. Uh, subject a complex uh, concept but I've seen uh, some of, uh, of uh, the student uh, having some problem with this um, just because they didn't really think about it um, the, th the thing you, you have to keep in mind is that uh, all of your top level event will be evaluated always every tick so if I do something like every tick let's uh, put uh, a text box you've already seen me do this kind of thing but I will really stress it uh, today if I do every tick and in the text box write something right. it will write something in the text box everything now if I do write what's in the text box plus something every tick here you'll see the text box will be filled uh, constantly. Let me resize this like this. Here it's constantly writing something. So the, the event is always evaluated. That's really something that uh, that is important when you are building your game is to know what will be triggered, what will be constant and what will be changed and what you want to do. If you want to do something when a state is, is, uh, is activated, so every tick when a state is activated do something or if you want to do something at a certain point, at a moment of change. Let me um, try something else. Let's say uh, at some point you have your character. Uh, let me uh, take the time to remake uh, a simple uh, platformer. You see, it will take less than a minute if I'm fast, a little bit more if I'm less fast. I create a ground, I create a character. Uh, usually, I set the character with the height slightly bigger than the height and the width. I put usually the origin at the bottom. Okay, the platform will be a solid. The behavior of the character will be uh, platform behavior. It will be character, it will be ground. Okay, and I will stretch the ground, activate snapping. 
so it's nice. Okay, so here I, I have my platform behavior working. I still have my something, and you may have noticed, but um, it takes some performance writing constantly, so you shouldn't do this. Okay. Well, you shouldn't do this. Uh, you shouldn't fill the text box constantly. Um, I will just make my uh, my character die on a spike. Uh, that's not uh, delete. Yes. Tile background. Let's make a little spike. Uh, hey. Okay. Spikes. Okay, just lower my uh, grid here, and I have spikes. Now, if I collide with the spikes, you know the drill. Uh, character uh, collision, collision with the type background, which happened to be a spike. I will set the character to die to a new state dead <coughs> put in so here you you see I just uh, modeled a change in the state of the the character um, so I can do something I don't need the every tick because the event is evaluated every tick uh, if I'm dead, I want to write dead in the text box, and if I'm not dead, I will use the, the else would be valid here, but sometimes I just prefer being more verbus alive. Okay. So here I'm alive and I'm dead. Okay. So what can happen here? is you want uh, when you die you want to flash for a certain amount of time and then respawn it's something that uh, can happen when you die you flash 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 so flash means uh, turning uh, the visibility on and off a certain frequency so you want to do something like if I'm dead I will flash if I die I will flash <coughs> so what will happen here is boom I disappear I don't flash I disappear so uh, there's a problem here what happens is that once you're dead the variable turns to true so this event will always trigger if this event always trigger you will flash and the flash means first you will start the the flashing uh, which lasts one second you will start for 0 0.1 second you will start off and then for 0 0.1 second you will go back on and then off and then on which makes a uh, 5 off and 5 on for one second just a rapid calculation so um, the problem is that you are asking your character to flash to flash every tick and if you ask him to flash every tick it will stay off every tick uh, if the flash uh, behavior was an on and then off kind of uh, system you would stay on every tick and you wouldn't flash so the problem is that the the action is triggered always and it comes down to represent a change and not a state 
you want to flash the moment you die the flashing represents the dying event of your character it doesn't represent the dead state so you want of course you could do this this that would be a pretty valid solution but sometimes here in this example it would be uh, just uh, what you sh maybe should do you are flashing but sometimes you want to um, to use a variable to represent a state and later on the event sheet uh, work something about this state do uh, do things about this state so you want this thing it can happen you this example is a bit uh, maybe a bit weak to represent what I uh, want to represent because um, many things in uh, C2 like triggers event are already made to represent change and not state not state so many things can be handled with these triggers so it's very very hard to find a, 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 an example where it can't be and usually it can't be represented by a trigger when your change is a value change a variable change a, a boolean change uh, which is a variable for instance if you want to do something the moment you go faster than a, than a certain value you wouldn't be able to represent this with a trigger so yeah here we want to be able to flash the moment we change from not dead to dead to do this there's hopefully uh, a way to to do this to represent this which would be um, using a variable on death you could do something like if on death equal zero turn on death to one and then if alive uh, something like this uh, on death equals zero something along these lines here it will work because you uh, caught the change and made it so it uh, just happened once but you can see that using this uh, way this mechanism for many other situations will lead you to a very 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 good amount of global variables and that's kind of uh, not good we don't want to have too many global variables to uh, some details uh, about uh, a change uh, in uh, in state it's, uh, it would be too much and it uh, would be hard to scale which means it would be hard to uh, make a big game with this kind of system by the way, another thing I used this technique for long ago was to, um, for instance, uh, if you click on something, well, now there, there's the else that can, uh, <laughs> I don't know if I can show you this example because I think it's too old to really uh, mean something now um, yeah I remember um, a point and click I've made f uh, with a, a friend uh, where you were clicking on a, on an area then it was changing the camera and in this new camera uh, angle you had another area at the uh, at the same uh, 